So I have to confess, I'm a longtime huge fan of Mary Poppins, Great. as I'm guessing you guys probably are too. Um, big, big anniversary coming up. For yes, Mary the fifth, the fifth year on Broadway. Yeah. It's a very big deal to be in such a long-running Broadway show. Mm -hmm. uh, so many Broadway shows kind of last a year or so or less. So, yeah. so five years, it really kind of stamps its mark on Broadway and, and hopefully staying there for another five, ten years. Big milestone. And yes. you actually originated the role on Broadway, Yeah, right? I've actually, I actually started the role in London when okay. the show was created. So this is actually my seventh year. I mean, I'm coming up to my seventh year oh. of playing Bert. And I got to play it in London on Broadway on the US national tour where mm. Steffi is at the moment. Uh, and then I went back to Broadway last year and Steffi's coming along with me for the fifth anniversary. Yes. That is so exciting. I mean, mm -hmm. what's it going to be like? What are you thinking as far hey, as Broadway the Broadway debut? Yes, it's my debut, which is so exciting. Of course, you know, I've been dreaming of this moment forever <laughs> and it's literally a dream come true. So I, I'm thrilled. So obviously the, the movie, the production was done over 40 years ago. Yeah. Why do you think it still resonates with audiences? Well, I think the movie is so beloved that it has this great name. So people want to come see the show because they love the movie. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's a story that I think is is timeless and everyone can relate to. We were doing the show, obviously, mm -hmm. back in 2008 when the economy went a bit. Right. And basically this, the story of Mary Poppins, of course it's about a magical nanny that flies in and out and, and picks the fingers <laughs> and everything turns out right. But really the story is about the Banks family, George and Winifred mm -hmm. Banks and the two kids and how he nearly loses his job at the bank and they can't communicate and mm. it takes Mary and her helper Bert and all their friends to come together and bring this family back together and so mm. um, all the generations of the family that come to see the show I think they can really connect some, to something in the show. It's really yeah, not just a show for the kids. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's so many spectacular dance numbers and set pieces and magic that yes. the, the kids can go mad about, but there's also this great story of, of, of a family pulling mm -hmm. together, which kind of resonates with families today, you know, with the economic crisis and all that so boring true. stuff. So hopefully it's a good, <laughs> it's a three hours where you can forget about all that, take your family and just be lost in this world of Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny when you were saying that it really resonates with audiences of all ages. My mom went to go see it recently. Uh -huh. and she actually started crying when oh, Mary yeah. flew across mm -hmm. the theater. Well, the flying that Steffi does. Oh. It is a gorgeous moment. At the end of the show, I fly out over the audience and it's very so emotional. So close, so close yeah. to all the heads of the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see everyone, <laughs> see the little kids screaming and their parents next to them screaming. You know, it's, it's a, I saw the show on Broadway for the first time and I remember being just in awe of this, you and I knew it was going to happen too. Was the other thing, but it still was thrilling. It's a it's a perfect ending to the show. There's so many points in the show that have been really directed well, or staged mm. well, or hopefully acted well <laughs> that the audience can get very emotional when mm. when Mary says good when when Michael little Michael Banks says goodbye to you is a brilliant yeah, moment yeah. when you say goodbye to me and give me a little peck on the cheek which is all that Bert has wanted for the whole show just give me a little <laughs> peck on the cheek she does the audience you can hear them just sigh and yeah. and it's just fabulous that when you come out the stage door and there's people waiting for an autograph and they go you made me cry and I always say yes we've done our job if we made you cry <laughs> we've, we've done our job what in a good way <laughs> so what would you guys each say is your favorite song to perform mm, or that you're question. a fan of I kind of get goosebumps every time I go on to start doing the scene for scene for feed the birds oh, yeah. um, you know it's such a gorgeous melody and has this beautiful sentiment of you know if you give a little bit, you can change someone's life. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm told it was Disney's favorite song. Yeah. And actually when he was, um, they were... Having a bad day at the Disney yeah. studios, the Sherman brothers who wrote the original music, mm -hmm. would he'd, he'd call them up and say, come in on five o'clock on a Friday at the end of the week, mm -hmm. and he'd go play it. And they'd just play they Feed play the Birds. Song. This is years after Mary Poppins mm -hmm. had come out as a movie. And, and, and in Disneyland, they were dedicating the, the statue of Disney holding hands with Mickey and Richard Sherman, was playing this song and the whole audience stopped and this huge, I mean, a bird flew from a clear blue sky flies down onto the piano and then leaves. I mean, it was uh, not a trained bird. It was, and it was not animatronic. It was animatronics. not animatronic. No. <laughs> and wow. Richard Sherman was like, yeah. was that what Disney, you know. This it's, is kind of creepy, cool. but kind of cool exactly. at the, the song, same time. The, all the songs, you know, Super mm -hmm. and Spoonful of yeah. Sugar and Step in Time. And my personal favorite is actually, 
I love the big, the big production numbers like Step in Time and Super Cow, mm. but my favourite song is actually Let's Go Fly a Kite because it's just so ah. simple in the show. Yeah. Especially Bert gets this kite for little Michael Banks who wants to fly a kite with his dad, but his dad's too busy. And, and I just get to sing this song and the, the whole setting is just a few kites flying with people flying kites in it on an empty stage. And it's mm. so simple compared to all the magic and spectac spectacular scenes that go on mm. throughout the show. That, that's my favourite. Yeah. Making me feel happy just thinking Aww. about it right now. Um, something else I want to touch on mm -hmm. before we wrap up is that you were a nanny not <laughs> too I was. long ago. Yes. So how surreal is this that well, now you're playing the most iconic nanny of all time? I know, it's great. I, I left New York. I was a nanny in Manhattan, and then I left and got the tour, and now I'm returning to New York as, as a nanny. another nanny, which is great. I wish I would have had some of the tricks that Mary Poppins has <laughs> to be a nanny. That bag. Come yeah. on. That Come magic on. carpet bag. She, she can pull anything out I of there. I wish I would have had that. <laughs>